We've been talking about ways in which we might cause the light of Jesus to shine less brightly in our lives and through our lives into the world. We've been talking about how sometimes we might not trust Jesus as deeply as perhaps we would hope to, that we don't trust that Jesus is our true nature and we don't trust that Jesus is working to bring good things into our lives. We've been talking about how sometimes we insist on getting our own way instead of accepting that the way of our lives is the way Jesus is letting us grow and encouraging us to be more and deeply loving. We've been talking about how sometimes we might fail to allow Jesus' love to be the first thing in our lives, the most important thing, and we might put other things in first place. And I know in my own life that there are times when I don't trust, that there are times when I do make other things more important than Jesus. And I know that there are in my life times when I insist on getting my own way. And I don't want things to be the way they are. I want them to be the way I want them to be. And that's why this morning, the candle we are going to put out is the candle of forgiveness. Because it reminds us that we all need to be forgiven and to know that we are forgiven and that when we don't forgive others, the light of Jesus shines less brightly because we all fall short. None of us ever is fully and perfectly the people that God created us to be. And so we all need to know that we are deeply loved and cared for and that we can share that love and care by forgiving one another when any of us allow the light of Jesus to shine less brightly in our lives. So let's pray. Jesus, we thank you that you forgive us whenever we fall short, whenever we fail to fully trust, when we put other things ahead of you, when we insist on getting our own way. And we do pray that we might share that forgiveness with others whenever that is needed. Amen. Okay. Just ask us to forgive each other when we did not forgive a little of Jesus' light got, got out. Yeah.